this stuff is real, y'all. What's up? It's me, Erica. And I am going to do my darndest to review uh, Marcy, aka Mixed Media Girls. Please. AKA Pop. Okay, this laptop's not coming on. I don't know how. I wonder if that's what. Did we pop a whole bunch of breakers the other day? Well, anyways, while that is happening, um, we're going to review Marcy Mixed Media Girls' is a paint. Bam, 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 bam. Um, I haven't gotten them all unwrapped yet. We just got the box in. Literally yesterday. So, we are going to do an awesome, honest review for you guys. And at the end, give a banana ranking from 1 to 10 on how bananas we think that the product is. Now, if you don't watch my channel regularly or are new or haven't seen us do a review or anything of the sort, let me tell you how this goes. We never claim to be experts on anything we review or do on the channel. We just give our opinion of the product as um, just a person that wants to try paint out. So typically I just open the package and then go for it. Um, which is great because there's no real directions on these anyways. However, they sound super thin. So I'm going to assume since it says pouring paint that it is ready to go. The colors are white, primary blue. Hi Katie in Australia. Fairy Dreams, which looks like um, a nice rose gold. Emerald. Deep Sea. Razzle Dazzle, love it. Gold. Electric pink, I'm all about hot pink colors, and royal purple. So that's an awesome um, variety of color. Variety. Variety. Um, the emerald, the fairy dreams, and the gold seem to be metallic. And the rest of these are flat colors. I don't know if this is the entire line that she has, but I, I'd be surprised if this was it and she didn't have like a nice yellow, a black, colors of that nature. Um, teal. A teal. A bright yellow, a bright orange. So I'm gonna be pouring on these flat MDF rounds. I'm not gonna prep them because I don't have time and I don't wanna. Because my sister is here. And we're gonna go do an escape room tonight. So this is gonna be not the longest video we've ever done. Oh, she has a bunch of colors? Okay, cool, 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 cool. What's up, you guys? Um, I'm going to really be leaning on my mods to answer questions for me because I can't see what you're saying. Uh, she also sent us some of these. And if you haven't seen these yet, these are 3D printed uh pouring cups so if you like to do ring pours which Jeff likes or split cup pours this is awesome I wouldn't recommend these for resin because I don't know if you can hear it over a little wheezy but 
they're very textured and resin's not going to peel out of this very easily at all so um i guess i'm gonna try a cup and some of these colors we'll see how they go what's up you guys Thank you for watching. If you are new here, please subscribe. We go live every day, usually at 6 p.m., except for on Tuesdays, it's at 2 p.m., always central. Uh, usually with resin, but always art. Yo, that's a pretty awesome looking color. So it is very fluid. I can't remember offhand how. It looks, it looks pretty opaque. Yeah, it does, which is, like the those one pour paints from Michaels we got were not like that at all. I don't want to waste it. Well, just pour, I mean, just think about it. I mean, when you pour, you fill up four of those. Mm -hmm. It's going to be quite a bit. So they are um, like safety sealed, but there's no seal seal on the inside. Oh, hi, big boy, Miz. This is like a Payne's Gray or Moody Seas color. I'm going to... So this is what I was saying a second ago. I'm assuming that this is ready to go because... It's about the consistency that I remember that Marcy likes to use when she does her pours. To my knowledge, from the last time I spoke to her about acrylic pouring, she doesn't use a lot of like funky additives. She mainly uses just paint and water. I need to look up and see if she does like bigger quantities than this. I like the bottles. It fits nice in the hand paint does not stink. It smells like, you know, what you would assume just regular acrylic paint would smell like. So there's our colors. Hey y'all. Hey, hi, how are ya? Um, if you could, please subscribe, leave us a thumb or two and share our video. It doesn't have to be this one. If you like the video, share it with people you like. If you don't like it, share it with people you don't like. I don't want to waste all of this, so I'm going to use some of this deco art ready for as the like a base pillow you know what I mean it's just this they sent us this not too long ago to Did they, send you or you buy that? Uh, they sent this to us uh sorry JJ Amazon will you be adding these to your Amazon list so um, these are from Mixed Media Girl, and I don't know if she has them on Amazon. Isn't that a nice color? She apparently has more colors than these. these I'm going to make a tiny dirty pour. You and your dirty pours. Because I'm dirty like that. Oh. So I'm just going to use this deco art white ready pour for this um can i call it a pillow don't call it a comeback you know what i mean mm. this this bit i know a lot of people use like a blow dryer to move this paint around but i decided to go in like i do with resin and so that's what i did choices What, Bowie? He's upset yeah, this that he's is, not you can tell chair. this is pretty good quality. A little different. Yeah, it's a little more opaque, it looks. Um, Ow. Do you? Yeah. One, two, three. So, I'm just going to move this around a little bit, even out my base slash background. Oh my goodness. B, do you want to do this since it's a tree ring? Mm -mm, you do it. It's fine. Go ahead. 
is it? I'm scared. Okay, y'all ready? I'm not ready. Mommy, 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 I'm at a trip. I mean, it already looks different. It does. I'm going to be honest with you. It feels like a thicker consistency than I would assume a pour paint would be. Um, having said that, I don't do acrylic pours. I'm not good at them. However, Marcy makes media girl. If you haven't checked her channel out, do it. She's awesome. Is very adept at this what do you need fire air oh you do fire yeah that's how you pop the bubbles um and if this is the consistency she says you need then this is what you need yeah she was she was always prepared with her paint yeah she knows her stuff for sure when we were, when we were in vegas all right let's see how it goes I'm just gonna swirl it around, swirl it a boot. Get messy with it. You guys, if this sets like I feel like it should, she did a great job. What is it that people do? A wrecked, wrecked. So that loveliness in the background isn't Cujo, his cousin, nephew, cousin, nephew, his nephew, Titan. <laughs> is here and he has the same condition that Cujo does. So it's a little wheezy one and two. I am not mad at this at all. It's so fun. Should I, should I wreck it? Well, look, look at how like the pink is still in that dark color. Like those other, one we tried those others and it just kind of, everything just kind of blended together. It's kind of mud. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I don't know. I think that'll look, like the amateur stuff if you do that. I know. Okay, I'm gonna let this one live. What do you guys think? Know when to quit, right? Am I right? Am I right? I'm gonna fold them. Clara, don't judge me. Except for go for it. Um. There is nowhere to put those. So. I'm gonna we put can them put them on top of the oceans that I have on the bar. Huh? I wouldn't put them here. Put them over here. All right, B, you want the next one? Clara said, I think I have stumbled onto the wrong panel. Is it this or this? Do you want a regular one instead of a... Mm -mm. Okay. Well, thank you, Miss Sparkle. What's up, Evelyn? What's sold? So many fam here. It makes my whole heart happy. All right, B. Are you about to do a tree ring? Mm, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think that's a lot of resin for something. I know that. Small. I'm just... I, I... No, I can get you a 7 inch.
That's a lot of paint. It looks so glowy right here. Yeah, I made this dirty pour with a lot of paint, so probably a little bit bigger. Be Maybe you should blow it out that way. Um, nice. I would heat it again and call it a day. Oh, Reagan is in here. Hey girl, did you see that piece? Because totally is right up your pink and purple alley. And if you're just joining, uh, we're using this as just a base. This is not uh, Mixed Media Girl. We're sorry, Mixed Media Girl. We just don't want to use all your white. I'm being petite and uh, not getting my hands dirty. I just, I didn't put gloves on. <laughs> you want some gloves? <laughs> no. It's just acrylic. You can wash your hands. Um, if you guys are asking me any questions, I would... Let me put some more on there because it's not going to flow like you want it. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was like, I think that's probably it. It's not Hold on. Okay. Love that ribbon. It's like glowing. Um, if you guys are just getting here, we're reviewing Mixed Media Girls' new Ready to Pour paint. I think we put too much white down, babe. Well, I didn't know you were going <laughs> to touch it. I don't know what else to do with that stuff, so... Too much white. Too much. Whoa. <laughs> well, the good thing is you can use this as a base. Wow. You need to scrape it. Let's just, might as well just pour this in there. Let's see what this is going to look like or not. See, that other color didn't even get to come out of there. Oh, uh, Judy says um, the paint's too thick for a Dutch. If you guys are talking to me my monitor went down. Now it's just a big spider. See, this is why I don't do acrylic colors. <laughs> See, you never know. It may relax and do something that you want it to do. All the stuff that's behind looks fun. You guys, don't let me play with this stuff. I'll just waste it all. Lies. I, I like just want do what? You want to do a big piece? No, not right now. Oh. Jessica, you want to put paint on something? 
Um, we'll do like the one I just did because it was a success. And at this moment, that's all I know. So I'm greasing the pan with white. Also, y'all, my sister's here. Yay, Jessica! <laughs> Put on gloves. Well, or no, sure. Just put on a right-handed glove. Okay. So I'm just gonna put this paint back in here because we already have it in there. Hey y'all. If you guys like Pomeranians and wish you could figure out budgeting and life financials check out Jessica's channel because that's what she do mm -hmm. Jessica Headcan, the name of it all right so a second ago I just poured it out in little bitty circles mm -hmm. just in the middle okay. I believe in you so I don't I don't drag it out just stay in the middle um, unless you want to drag it out. Okay. You're okay, Cujo. Go lay down. This is called a tree ring pour. And then whenever you're good with the amount of paint on there, like just put... A Whoops, I forgot you only had one. Me too. But it's just acrylic paint, it'll wash off. Also here. Now, okay, here's another one. Right. Just pick it up and like move it around. I just like swirled it around in a circle, but you can do any direction. Do you guys at home work with acrylic paints a lot? looks like a flower. It does. Yeah. Her paints are going to make me want to work with acrylics maybe a tad bit more than I already do, which is zero. That looks cool. Yeah, it does. That looks so cool. Jessica, look. You're all arty. Ta-da. Ta-da. Voila. It looks like a flower. I like it. It looks awesome. I'm going to take this over to the dust-free zone, the DFZ. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to hit it with a little bit of heat first. So where I'm hitting it with heat, it's like giving just a little bit of cell structure, but it's a very good consistency of paint, so it doesn't flow too much. I am very impressed. real acrylic for artist mm -hmm. in this moment. Even though if we're like super honest with ourselves, we know it's it's just the paint that's doing a good job. It's not it's not me. So I wanna do do you remember those ones? Smush. Do a smush. Uh, if you could bring me some MDF ones. 
probably square. So you guys remember the kind that would be like a flip cup and then it would be under the other colors? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. But I'm not gonna waste this paint, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour it up in there. Try some of this royal purple as well. A bit more of this bright pink. You know what? I need to do this in a smaller cup because my surface is way smaller. Do I need to poke a hole in this? I don't know. I remember when you tried to do that swingy thingy. Oh, the pendulum pour? Mm -hmm. That was an adventure. I'm still pretty sure I did that wrong. remember right which I may not you got to go like this and then you should put white like all the way around it put white all the Put white all the way around it. And I'm pretty sure you're supposed to poke a hole in it so that it comes out. So in order to do that, I'm just going to heat this X-Acto knife and just melt a hole into it instead of trying to be difficult about it. And then I think you have to like burp it up under the this and then you heat it then you smooth it I'm probably doing that way wrong. Yep, definitely way wrong. Got some cells. I know, I just left it, I left it under there. Set it down, it comes back on. It was so useful till I broke the trigger. You broke it, let me see it. Careful, there's paint on it.
This turned out 0% like I thought it would. All right, so I'm gonna try it again. That's not cute. Right, Kim, that's what I did. Get well soon, vamp. No one needs a sick vamp. Okay. Does that hurt anyone's heart when you have to like scrape off a, a piece? This is one reason why I stopped doing acrylic pours because I felt like I did that every other time I did acrylics. So, instead, I'm going to, I'm going to do smush. Calm down, miss. Turn the heat off on that thing. This is like, we need to, we need to, uh, put the germ off with that or something, I don't know. Uh, I agree. We believe in you, Bam. Get some rest. Okay. So. I'm going to do a puddle. I should have put white in between these two colors, but that's okay. I can't get away from this razzle-dazzle color. Put some gold. Y'all calm down. All right. Jeff said just use this with no heat because my that is being difficult. too hard. Hmm. That looks not cute. So what I'm going to do is something. I'm going to put blue in it and I'm going to smush it. Also, if this doesn't work, I'm going back to tree rings and never looking back. sure all four sides are down. Word. <laughs> Not cute. Less cute. Okay. Going back to tree rings. Jess, do you want to do another one? Mm -hmm. Alright, well then I will do one more just because I can't leave this as a failure. That looks very not white. So I'm gonna switch these gloves out. That um, clear that just came out was separation in another brand's white. Look how fun this overflow is from Jeff's piece. Um, I'm not sure if she uses these for a Dutch pour. But 
but I can ask her. Judy's right. I'm never gonna see the grease the pan color, so let's just use this paint. Waste not, want not. This better not come out looking cool. Also, there's no way. Not the grossest thing I've ever seen. Meow. I'm gonna rinse this out real quick. BRB, you guys, talk amongst yourselves. Unless you want to paint something on there, let's go. Just get in there. <laughs> hmm. What is up, you guys? I'm looking at these colors, and I think my favorite would probably have to be, hmm, I like this one. And the name's really fun. It's Fairy Dream. Uh, Cam, you're not crazy. It looks pretty thick to me also. I don't know what a thin acrylic would look like either for the record, but it seems to spread out pretty easily to me. Ooh, I don't think she opened this one yet. I don't even know if she used this one yet. I don't think so. That's kind of pretty. Kind of looks like um, like a new penny. Kind of looks like that. Only well, maybe a little bit more pastelli. But I'll see if she wants to use that because that looks pretty cool and shiny. I'll just show you all the colors again while we wait. Like this emerald green. And we got this gold. And it's got, ooh, electric pink. Royal purple. Razzle dazzle. It looks kind of like a pink purpley, burgundy kind of color. This is just never going to be clear. If I poured some of this fairy dreams right okay. here just to show it. And we will go ahead and use it. Okay, so I'm going to use some white. Cujo, my love. Lay down. I don't know where you are. Good boy. Lay down. I know the fairy dreams look super fun, and I know she sent this because she knows I like colors uh, like this. Uh, uh, Thank you. Okay, so we got white and fairy dreams. I'm really liking this deep sea. It's very moody seas color, and I'm about that life. And in fact, I'm going, okay. Don't judge me, but I really like this paint. So I'm gonna put some in the Fairy Dreams compartment. I didn't even need to wash this out. I ended up with the same colors. No shame. But I'm gonna use a little bit more of my favorite of the colors. Just like that, okay. These are the colors, dun, dun, dun. I guess I don't need to put anything down because it's there. Okay. <gasps> That's a little bit of water that I accidentally left in there. Whoops. 
time. It's not coming up at all. I'm going to do some homework on acrylic pours and different styles of it and review more of the styles for you guys. Yeah. She left? Yeah. Why? Uh, I don't I'm not sure what you're talking about. This bit looks like a really fun zebra. Mm -hmm. But the part that I put that fairy dreams in turned out like not my favorite. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna tilt that down. It kind of has like a pinky cloudy haze to it. I like the shimmer in it, but I just think it just probably doesn't fit with this palette. So I'm just trying to shake it up. Very Taylor Swifty. I can't deal with that much of it. I'm not mad at it. This bit up here looks very much fun. Do what? I did. Let me get another piece of paper prepared. Sorry, boy cat. Not mad at it. Acrylic pores. Do you guys use gloves when you paint? Judy. All right, we're going to use all this down here for our... Hey. Isn't it? I don't mind things that remind me of Lisa Frank at all. All right, Jess, what should we do on this one? Let's try and stay away from the paint word. Now I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> they all have pink in them. I know. I just blacked out a little bit. All right. Well, we can't. I'm going to have to wash that guy out. You going to wash it out? I think. I feel like it would just take. You know what? Maybe someone at home wants to try this, but doesn't feel like getting the pour cups, the split cups. So let's, I'm gonna do one in just a regular cup. Huh? Oh, 
Okay, I won't do pink, but I'm using the deep sea. This is a beautiful color in thing, but I feel like I'm it, I didn't it didn't work on the this. Mm -hmm. There's too much of it. Yeah. Well, she apparently has a lot of colors. Well, we can get online and buy some. Me too. We're going to go do an escape room tonight. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. I feel like there should be more puddle. Okay, well that would just take forever. An escape room is where you go and you have to solve a series of riddles in under 60 minutes to win the game. An escape. say if you don't get out they cut all your hair off that's what I thought you said This paint is very thick. I'm sure if you wanted to, you could um, thin it out a little bit. I don't know about this one, you guys, but we'll work it together. <laughs> I feel myself doing those laughs that Jeff does when he's like, mm, I don't know about this one. So then you have a lot to look forward to when you see what I'm doing. Stop laughing at my pain. I think I just blew it too hard. Oh. Never mind. Kind of looks marbly. It does look very marbly. I don't hate it, but I like the other ones I did better. And I think it may be because of the style that I did them. So. Oh. Is before you said it? Because there's a delay on me. Oh. If you go out of the room and come back in, it may reset so that you can um No, if you 
around. We do need a spinny thing. Don't we have a spinny thing? Um, Tammy uses just tape and she just flips it into a circle. Do you want to get your spin? Sure. Absolutely could. What about it? Um, I told them that I would be available to discuss her commission uh, as of the 24th. It is a lazy Karen. It's like a double burn. Okay. I'm gonna use the this and I'm gonna put white in the pocket and then I'm gonna put deep C in the other pocket and put a little bit of gold on top of the white and then some of this bright blue and the this and then some more white and we're gonna see what it does cool cool hope it doesn't look silly we'll find out together I did there, I just reversed it. Put my thing down, <laughs> flipped it, and reversed it. And then I rotated my thing. I almost said by 50 degrees, because it was 50%. Don't mind me. Hi, Clara. Thank you. Because all the dark was going to go on one side, so I figured it would even out a little bit. Let's see what we got. Mommy, 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 mama, and a truth. Y'all, I just put a little dash of gold in there, and it's like, hey, I'm going to be everywhere. Mm -hmm. But it looks almost like a tan. This khaki banana. It is a little bit like a tannish khaki banana. Wow. Like she's <laughs> done. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be not, not good. Noticed. Word. I got these little cells up here. Hit it with some heat. Not sure why. Is there it there? Get it on high. really not mad at I know that I wanted it to be gold but this like khaki hint with these blues I'm just I'm not upset about what goes on and to be honest I would have never put those colors together so yeah that's what um, the mess I made today. Let's go see all the, oops, sorry, 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 sorry. 
Let's see. Flash. Cool, we got a flash. So let's start at the beginning. Fun. Very rose. Jeff's masterpiece, the only one that got these like big cells, no idea how or why or whatever. This is Jessica's. Not sure what I was thinking on this one, but word. Such a good puppy daddy helping Cujo down. This one has that rose gold one. B, what do you think about my this one? I'm really not mad at these colors together. We did acrylic stuff! Whoop, whoop. Moo, did you see the acrylics? Did you see them? Did they look good? Did you love them? You did. This time? Or next time? Which one was your favorite? All of them? Every one of them. Okay. The first one is a Camila State Flower Alabama sold to Lisa Alabama. Actually, I think Megan Moyer purchased this one. But anyways, you also mean email or text about those. Uh, we're going to go, those little drip-offs look fun. Um, we're going to go try to escape a room. If you guys haven't met Ty Ty, Ty Ty, how are you doing? I know it. And Musa and Big Boy Bean. Come on. Oh, that's a good big boy. Ugh. All right, I gotta take these little nuggets out before they pee on my shoes. We're gonna go have adventure time with my sister. Yay! Um, oh, Sparkle, thank you so much for the tip. Where's my button? No, it's not. Appreciate you guys. I hope you have an awesome night. We will be here tomorrow. Yeah, we'll be here tomorrow, um, but probably early because Jessica's heading out tomorrow. Um, hope you guys have an amazing night. I have to say that these paints are 10 bananas because look, they don't look horrible and I did them, so amazing. Uh, have a great night. If you kind of want another, you never know what someone's going through. I didn't know I was facing. I was just doing it for the sound. I remember. We, I'm eating beef jerky. <laughs> we do the test. So you don't have to. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have an awesome night. Be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. See you tomorrow. Bye. I say bye. Bye. Everyone says bye.